everyone, I'm Alana. This is Casey. Welcome to IGN hey Plays Live. Today is part two of our Pokemon Nuzlocke Challenge stream. Casey, what does that mean? So the Nuzlocke Challenge is a basically Pokemon hard mode. If your Pokemon faints, you have to release it. It is dead. Mm -hmm. You have to nickname all of your Pokemon, and you can only catch the first Pokemon you run into on each area. Yeah, so with you don't the, really get a choice. Yes. With one caveat, it, they have to be a different Pokemon than you are, have yeah. already caught. To preserve um, the variety. Yes, so we are in, I'm reading the comments on YouTube and on Twitch for this stream. Uh, to the person who's asking what the name of the song that plays in the IGN Plays Live countdown timer is, uh, it's Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> it's not, I'm sorry. I don't actually know the name of that song. Um, I'll try and find out for you guys for the next stream, which will be next Thursday. So these are all the Pokemon we have so far. Yes, and what I was doing, um, so, like I said last time on the stream, I was going to go back to Sprout Tower mm -hmm. during the nighttime so I could catch a Ghastly, and I did catch a Ghastly, and her name is uh, Iltzig. It's, it's Ghastly, Ghastly backwards. backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I made sure not to carry the egg around with me so that you guys would be here for the hatching of the very important egg. It takes a while though, doesn't it? It does. It takes a long while. Yeah. And I also got mail from Mom, so let's check that out. It's in my PC. I don't know what it All is right. yet. Nice. She gave us a super potion. Cool, because I'm poor and I need to heal my Pokemon. Thanks, yeah. Mom. We, I feel like a challenge of this is that we seem to have less money because you can't just deal with a Pokemon fainting. You can't just be like, eh, you yeah. have to give them potions. There are some versions of the Nuzlocke Challenge don't let you use potions. We are allowing it. Um, but it's still basically like playing Pokemon on hard mode. And I left off. No one has died so far. Yeah, no for, one has um, died. Zero strike that we lost that. So I actually left off right at the boss of uh, Sprout Tower. So I'm just gonna go up there okay. and fight the boss for you guys. Have you been grinding? I did. I also, right. I also that's grinded. That's not that fun for you guys to watch. On not the at all. So I did that last night. All right. This tower is tall. I'm surprised it's I haven't run into any Rattata yet because this tower is also infested with. Rattata. Don't jinx it. <laughs> so you wow, I made it all the way to the top. Cool. I love how they just have terrible lines of sight. It's slightly far away. Yeah. Alright. Oh, but I guess because he's a boss, you have to right. help him. Yeah, let's see. Who should I put first? Pomero. Um, yeah. What, what kind of Pokemon does he have? I think he has all Bell Sprouts. Right. So Pomero and Soul should sweep this. Okay. Rock and Roller will not. We know that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's prove our bonds to this guy. All right, that's what we expected. Yeah, it's fine. It's a lower just, level than I thought. I can just gust it. So yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Iltzig is already level, I think, 12. And I did that by putting a bunch of wild Pokemon to sleep and licking them to death. Yeah. Nice. It's kind of creepy. It's what I do most of my weekends <laughs> as well. Um, Adam Saltz asks, is this on the 3DS right now? Yeah, that's why we're actually playing uh, the original Silva, uh, is because last week, last Thursday exactly, it came out on Virtual Console. So we're playing last on Virtual Friday. Console. Was it Friday? Mm -hmm. Last week we played on Friday. Mind blown. <laughs> but we're playing through a uh, this incredible orange box device thing that lets you capture slash stream from a 3DS. It's pretty incredible. It's called um, IS Snake Box. And it's it's an elaborate system, but uh, yeah, I really I love the way that it looks. Uh, <laughs> usually I wouldn't answer this kind of comment, but Sven Malkins asked, why why would you change your hair color to pink? It was an accident. I did not do it on purpose. Wait, really? Yeah, it was absolutely an accident. I and had then, no idea. Yeah, so I did it right before we started the IGN show, which mm -hmm. for anyone who doesn't know is uh, TV show that IGN had on Disney, and because of that, I wasn't allowed to change it because they needed con oh. like continuity. Yeah, so I had to keep my hair <laughs> this color, and so now it's just this color. Yeah, totally. That was really this. funny. <laughs> All right, Plumero swept it. He did it. Not surprised. She did it. Plumero, Level the 14 now. Pigeon. Nice. All right, that wasn't too hard. Now uh, I will use. Uh, I'm actually going to save this escape rope because mm -hmm. escape ropes are very expensive. Yeah. And I should really save it for when we're about to die in a cave. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> actually. So, 
I'm going to walk back down the tower, and as you can see, we both just got a HMO5 flash. flash. And with that, we can explore the, like this guy is explaining it, flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym, which we have. So we could explore Dark Cave if we wanted to, but... That doesn't sound like a fun time. Mm. <laughs> Let's go to Union Cave instead, which is our next object objective to get to Azalea Town. And the Slowpoke Well. Yeah. We're doing pretty good, I think. Yeah. And man, one of the things that I um, I noticed last night was that if you look at your Pokemon, there's nothing in their um, summary that tells you what their attacks do. You kind of just have to know. Huh. So... I guess, like, when I played this as a kid, I did just kind of know. Yeah, I, I, that, like, blows my that mind. That is pretty weird. Yeah. yeah. You just have to try them out. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think twice about it since we've been playing. Yeah. But, yeah, yesterday, um, Ghastly got the move Spite. I was like, huh, I haven't used this move in a while. What does it do? And there's no way to And there's it. nothing there to that's funny. <laughs> tell I guess you. that's why they had so many peripheral guides and stuff. Yeah. Like, for you to find that kind of stuff out. It's interesting. Uh, Zero Striker asks, do you take name recommendations when a newbie is caught? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We will jump between YouTube and Twitch to let you guys name them all. Um, I named Ghastly. You've mm -hmm. named Saul, I named, kind yeah, of. I did. I, um, well, so I took all a the suggestion other suggestion chat. Yeah. on Twitter. But. And uh, Jay Riley said hello again. I feel like I remember Jay Riley being here last week. Hello. Screen, so. Hello again, friend. Welcome back. Out of the tower. Uh, fresh air underscore five asks, how long will the stream be? I believe we're streaming until 12. Yes. So an hour and a half. I should probably check what I have in my inventory before yeah. I waste money on stuff. How much money do you have? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, no, I think I look at that here. Here we go. 1,701. Oh. It seems like such an elaborate place to find yeah. <laughs> where money is. It's like, oh, my profile. All right. All right. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah. Uh, I think Pokeballs. No, I, I'm at five. I'm going to buy some more just in case. It's not like you need the money for anything else. It's literally yeah. for you to buy it's, stuff. Yeah, Pokeballs and potions. Oh gosh, I almost <laughs> tried to buy 99. Okay. Uh, okay, we should be good. Also, hello to Sony Vegas. It's probably not your real name. And uh, Don Juan 19755, who said hello. Hello, friends. So, what should we catch in Union Cave? Or, since we got the old rod last time, should we use the old rod? In yeah. the waters. Yeah. Yeah. Just immediately fish or something. It's probably gonna be trash, but yeah, we don't have any water Pokemon, do we? Yeah, no, we don't. It'll, It'll probably be, be a Magikarp. Well, that's the best. Yeah, because then we get a Gyarados. I'm absolutely down for that. Okay, Someone let's do earlier that. actually asked what uh, your favorite shiny Pokemon is. Oh, favorite shiny Pokemon? Yeah. Definitely Charizard. Oh, yeah, well, that's bad. That might be Gyarados. I have a shiny Charizard and shiny Gyarados on my singles team. Um, the shiny Gyarados is from the Lake of Rage in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Yes. Well, that's where I yeah. usually get it from too. Yeah. And um, I transferred them over to Sun and Moon and looked at their individual values, and they're they're not good. They're awful. They're actually really terrible. Aw. And I was really sad about that because I love my shiny But they shiny also Charizard. happen to be bad. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Man, Plumero is just. Sweeping it Killing up with it. that gust. Yeah. All What's right. the uh, level to evolve? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. But I'm gonna switch it out to. Let's see. Pidgey Silver. I love this song so much. Um, level seven? No, level eighteen. Turns into Pidgeot. Okay. I'm level 36 to Pidgeot. That's so, so far we're not away. That far away. <laughs> we could we could get to Pidgeot. 
So, uh, Gellot MVZ is asking, tell us the music, please. I believe the only music you are hearing right now is, is the music from the game. Yeah. So, if this is what you're after, you look up that uh, Pokemon Silver soundtrack. This mm -hmm. is the battle theme. Also, this entire game has a very good soundtrack. Yeah. I'm pretty sure... I mean, there are a lot of songs to play in the Smash um, levels, but in Melee, in Poke Floats, they always played one of the Pokemon songs, and this yeah. was one of them, and I loved it. Yeah, that's awesome. Remember, like, uh, way like back in the day, Nintendo Power sent out a Smash Bros. Melee soundtrack. Really? One of the editions, yeah, and I oh, thought it was like the coolest man, thing. Oh man, that's super cool. I love soundtracks. Yeah. It's so great. It's generally just when I'm working, I just listen to soundtracks or reorchestrated soundtracks. I, lyrics I, okay, I don't remember if I said this last time. My friends and I used to, when Diablo 3 came out, we used to play the Diablo 3 soundtrack, and anytime we went anywhere, we would refer to it as questing. So if we're <laughs> like, hey, do you want to go quest to get some pizza? That literally just means we are going to drive there while playing Diablo 3 music. That's amazing. It was pretty great. Okay. Big old bunch of notes. Let's see if we can get to this water before running into Pokemon. All right. Can you even catch not even the Gyarados? Nimble. Is that even possible? Probably not. Um, I think with a super rod in certain areas. Maybe there's no Pokemon here. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Whatever it is, we have to catch it. I didn't think this through. Oh, it's a Goldeen. I'm so uh, disappointed. Uh, really? Oh, that was a level 10 Goldeen. Well, at least we have a Surf Slave if we don't catch That's any true. other water Pokemon. <laughs> um, Be careful with Soul. Yeah, I don't... Uh, maybe I can I can lick it. <laughs> Paralyze it. Uh. <laughs> Iltzig. Would, would, <laughs> is that how you, you pronounce that? Like, Yeah. Iltzig? Yeah. Uh, Jay Riley said, still waiting for Frank to be withdrawn. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who was not on the stream last time, um... We put a uh, Weedle yeah. named Frank in the PC because he sucked, and so everyone uh, in the chat was requesting justice for Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Frank sucks. He, uh, he's gonna turn into a Beedrill, I mean. Yeah, I don't like that. And no. those are. Mm, Fine. Mm. <laughs> those are. Why are you not paralyzed yet? Oh! <gasps> People oh gosh! In the, in the Twitch chat. Oh, what happened? <laughs> he got a critical hit, and he has five HP left. Um. Okay, that was scary. You're all right, Gasly. Uh, people in the Twitch chat who were saying Goldeen is awesome. Goldeen is one of the best Pokemon. Seeking? Well, I think Goldeen's fine. It's just that Goldeen doesn't turn into Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> but I guess you get um. F yeah, seeking. Yeah, yeah. That's but it. Where, why did that even happen? Why did that meme happen? I just remember. Uh, it. It's best if you don't ask. Okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that's that. That's like the slowpoke meme, and then uh, what's the other one? Oh, um, there's a mudkip meme as well. Yeah, I, I like, like mudkips. Man, it seems like those <laughs> those are really old memes at this point. Absolutely. Like I heard you like mudkips was when I was in high school. Yeah, I um. That might have been like yeah. a decade ago. That's like, crazy. Oh my gosh, it was. Mm. That was like 08, 09. That's insane. What? Memes, man. Well, we caught Goldeen. What do we name it? A strong swimmer. It is capable of swimming. All right, I'll let you two pick first. Fast streams. What are we naming our Goldeen? I really like its sprite. It looks like a magic card, so we can pretend. There are no comments, which seems suspicious. Huh. Let what me... do we name Goldeen, guys? Yeah, what are we naming Goldeen? I feel like this, it has to have screwed up. Uh, or they're just slightly behind us. Oh, that might be it. So we can wait, but I will answer a question uh, in the meantime. Someone asked, is the IGN show over? I think uh, season one is still having reruns, but mm -hmm. we are no longer filming. I stopped filming the first weekend of September. And XXDag14XX asked, what is your favorite legendary? Probably her. Hmm? Yeah. Probably her. Yeah. Not and I, I say that 
Well, I did say Zonius last time. Zonius is definitely one of my favorites because it's pretty, but then I was thinking, like, oh, because of the anime? Yeah. Because, like, you know that moment when you see it in, like, the first episode? Mm -hmm. It's like, and more, or whatever. Okay, hang on, we got a bunch of comments. <laughs> Fish girl? Oh, this is amazing. Uh, oh. Jay Riley was first. Okay. And it's Frank, too. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of people who said Phelps, which I think is pretty cool. But, uh, Frank 2 is... Alright. Is it? <laughs> Very good. So we will Oh, let... is there, are there numbers? No, you'd have to type oh. out 2. Can you do a space? Frank That's two. fine. Um, we will let Twitch chat pick next time. Oh, hey, there is a space. <laughs> Twitch chat... If someone suggested that we name it Goldine, that would be cheating. You can't well, do that. Well, then it would evolve and still be called Goldine. Yeah, you're true. Now, the question is, should we go back and get him? Like, who would we switch out? I don't know. I kind of like this team. Yeah, I do too. But I kind of want to go heal up Gasly. Yeah, that's <laughs> <I'm> fair. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, because if you don't, it could die. Yeah. No it's like, what if it's the only Pokemon it. left and... Why did I use Tackle? You have Ember now. That's so much better. Mo DJ said your best chance to get a Gyarados is to get the shiny one using repels to reach it. Well, because huh. it is guaranteed. That's yeah. probably true. Yeah. That's that would take a lot of repels. Well, a few. We, can, we, can, we'd, we, we would have to be really lucky. I feel like maybe it was just because it was in a cave that Golding was so more common. Because I feel like Magikarp is the most common thing to get in Old Rod. Yeah. Like, I, I'm very surprised. <laughs> yeah, it could have been just that specific location. Whatever. Yeah, because usually I struggle to get anything besides Magikarp. And usually it sucks. Yeah. Except for when you catch the first one and then you get a Gyarados. Yeah. Tentacruel is pretty yeah. good. Tentacruel is pretty cool. Yeah, I accidentally rhymed there. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a professional rapper. <laughs> Fresh Air underscore five said name the Goldine Magikarp. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, what this, what's this you're gonna have? Bunch of Zubats? I don't know, maybe ground types because he's a hiker. It's a mm. Geodude. It's an Onyx. Okay. Oh, that was close. Ground type still. So I'm going to absolutely switch out. Yes. Um, squiggly. So squishy though. A little squiggly. Yeah, so um, in the more recent um, generations, they actually increased uh, Victory Bell's special de defense. So hmm. they buffed him. He doesn't have that buff in this one. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. That makes sense. <sighs> nice. All right. That worked incredibly <laughs> <job's> well. Goodly. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So what? What's everyone's level now? Got a few level thirteens, I think. Yeah, twelves okay. and thirteens. Bless you. I always try not to sneeze near the microphone, but it's very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> try ocean. Who's your favorite in our team so far? Who's everyone's favorite? I'm going to say Saul, but it's probably just because it's the starter. Yeah. Um, so it's hard to say. I've been holding the stylus this whole time for literally no reason. And you not can't using use it, it here. Funny. It's oh, just like, oh, you it's can't. a DS. Yeah. <laughs> All those level 5 Zubats. I feel like they, they're always low levels in caves, but they make up for it by giving you so many to fight. Mm, yep, yeah, uh, Iltig is level 12. Let's keep them all up. Yeah. You're doing pretty good, pretty even. Another hiker. 
So I think I mentioned this in the last stream, but um, in Union Cave on Fridays, there is a Lapras like deep within the cave that you can only get to by using Surf and Strength. So just keep that in mind if you guys have Surf and Strength already. I didn't know that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, you can see it. It's like a, like a legendary, like you'd see it. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I think I had Lapras once in one of the early games and didn't end up using it. I used it as a sub slate. Yeah. I was like disappointed <laughs> in its abilities. I really like Lapras a lot. Yeah. I had, um, when I was a little kid, I had a dream that Lapras saved me and my friends, and after that I liked Lapras. That's <laughs> nice. Uh, Muru Phillips said, uh, Squidly is their favorite because of the name. Squidly. It is really Nana cute. Nana had said, uh, Frank too hype. <laughs> uh, poor Frank. Uh, more DJ said, to be honest, I'm wondering how are you going to evolve Quanta and Gravilla? So, I figured we'd just find someone in the office and trade with them. Yeah. Once it gets to that point. Yeah. I mean, we could do it on the stream. Make yeah. it very dramatic. Just oh yeah, we can in, actually you know. do that. I could just bring my 3DS in and we could, we could do it. Yeah. It's not that difficult. We'll make it work. Christian Hayes says, hey, what's up? Hello. Hello, friend. Uh, Book to Castros, when is this coming out? It was out last Friday. Mm -hmm. That guy was spinning real fast. Yeah, he was doing cool spins. I wonder what, what he's hanging out down there catching Pokemon or just dancing, maybe? <laughs> Keep it How's everyone doing? Everything seems to be going okay, because they're all level five. Have you even taken any damage? Now I have. <laughs> now you have. I try to put them to sleep, but... Very small amount. Go to sleep. And then you just lick them to death? Yes. <laughs> it's a good strategy. It's, it's kind of gross. It's very gross. <laughs> yeah, no doubt but about that. that's okay. It's uh, mildly creepy. <laughs> Guilt tag may be a sex offender. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Ricky Bjork asked, what's your favorite generation of Pokemon? For me, it's Gen 3. That's what he said. I didn't oh. say that. <laughs> I like Gen 2. I like Gen 1. I like Gen 2 the best as well. I mean, um, they introduced a few of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 2. Um, I really like Houndar and Houndoom and Espeon and Umbreon. Mm -hmm. And just the dark typing is really neat. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, all the other generations all had a few Pokemon that I like really liked. Yeah. I, I do really like Lycanroc and Sun and Moon, but it's not that good. Yeah. Just looks kind of cool. Yeah, it just looks cool. And I like Rockruff in the uh, in the anime. He's cute. Yeah, yeah it's kind of hot. But Alolan Ninetales, though. Yeah. That Vulpix also. There's some really dumb Alolan ones, though. Some of them look terrible. I like the Doug Trio with the hair. Yes. <laughs> And uh, I, th I think it's is a Geo dude that looks really bad too. He has uh, magnetic yeah. hair, so he has a bunch of stuff <laughs> in his face. It's very yeah. strange. He's got dust facial hair. John Howe said, "Does anyone feel like Sun and Moon was lacking something special? I miss the visual aesthetic of the oldies." I think Sun and Moon's really good, um, but like missing the visual aesthetic is probably just a nostalgia thing. But I, I also get it. Like, there's something nice about the simplicity, but. So I, I really liked how Sun and Moon looked and how all of the environments looked so different. Yeah. Because it kind of made me more excited to go to new places. Yeah. Because they looked really cool. And exploring was made a little bit more interesting because it was pretty to look at. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I like I like the way that the series is slowly iterated off of itself. It's cool. And I'm excited to surf on a Mantine. Yeah. And Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. All right. Ramiro that took a long time. But you got there with just one health gone <laughs> again. <laughs> um, Ramiro Alcoca Gonzalez asks, for which, for you, which Pokemon had the worst sprite in Gen 1? I don't remember. Some of them don't, like when you actually see them in this menu, some of them are very hard to recognize. Yeah, because these are just like generic. Yeah. Actually, they're not. 
I mean, this this is obviously an oddish. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that one's pretty bad. <laughs> that is definitely not a bell sprout. So speaking of the um, original sprites, they so the Pokemon Center has a fleece blanket with all of the original sprites on like you know like how we just oh, did we looked in the, in yeah. the party and it's gray and has the sprites on it i was like this looks really cool That's and cool. it's not like super bright and obnoxious and i really want it and they had it at the pokemon world championships that you could win with tickets by like winning in tournaments huh and so i fought really hard and i entered two uh, battle royal tournaments mm -hmm. and i got in third place in both of them That's and awesome. i got enough tickets to get it and then they were out. No. Yeah, I was pretty oh, sad. Oh, that's the worst. But I, I got this water bottle instead. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I still got something. You can probably get that online or something. Yeah, yeah, you can. And um, now Ghastly, or Iltzig, learned Mean Look. So it is now the Pokemon catching machine. Excellent. So it has Hypnosis Sleep. and Mean Look. And it, Lick doesn't do that much damage. So Excellent. Good, good Pokemon catcher. I should be talking to these people after I beat them because some of them um, give you stuff, say something cool. Yeah, some of them give you their, their phone number and they call nice. you later. Challenge you again to a battle. Hmm. I'm not gonna like this thing to death. It'll take too long. Uh, Nana had asked on Twitch, um, what level is optimal to evolve a Haunter? Well, there is a cap level, but I don't know what that is. So, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty... I think they... S I don't know if these do, but I know the Pokemon with uh, stones. Like, mm -hmm. if you evolve Vulpix with a Firestone or Growl with a Firestone and they evolve, they don't learn any more moves. But I don't oh, really? think... Yeah. Which huh. was, like, really upsetting for me as a kid who That's got insane. a Vulpix and immediately evolved it and then like realized it was going to so be stuck with a while. I don't think that but, um, counts for the ones that are traded though. Yeah, I don't either. I think they, they learn the same. So it evolves into Haunter level 25 and just into a Gengar when traded. I feel like it probably just gives you a stat boost so maybe as early as possible. Let's see if we can do some more research on that. Uh, look Ooh. up uh, Gengar uh, moves. Level up. Level up moves. I don't even know if this is the right way right now. Should I go down this ladder or should I keep looking for a way out? Pokemaniac Larry. Huh? Well, your Pokemon seem to be in a pretty good place right now, so. Um, um, this is going to be that. super effective against you, Slowpoke. It's, it did, still did like nothing. That's fine. So this is for Sun and Moon specifically, but uh, at level 61, um, Gengar learns Nightmare. So would that mean that you evolve it after level 61? Gengar, lear Gengar learns it? So. Yeah, level 61. And then Gengar learns the following moves when it evolves. Oh, that, so that doesn't punch. happen in Sil Gold and Silver, that's a mechanic yeah. that was introduced. So, I mean, that's kind of hard to say. Like, will it still learn Destiny, Bond, and Hex, and Nightmare if you evolve earlier? As a haunter? As a haunter? Yeah. I don't know. All of these uh, guides are based on Sun and Moon, unfortunately. They are up to date. How dare they? <laughs> Hello, Crash Bandicoot and DZone20 who said hi. Hello. I'm gonna run out of uh, PP for that lick move. Alright. Do we still have this on the map? No, because it's just a cave? Yeah, we could look at the cave at the map. It's somewhere in here. Let's see, I found it. 
Okay, what does it say? <laughs> what does it say? Getting lost in a cave isn't fun. So I think you're like around here right now. Oh, so I should just keep going the way I was going? Oh, hey, an item. Wow, there are a lot of Pokemon in this cave. Oh yeah, the Lapras is in here. Well... Yeah, you can get out around here, I think. Cool. You can go to basement one and basement two if you want to. Mm. Or you can just get out. Let's get out. I'll just um, see where you are when we pull it out. But yeah. John so Howe asked us to <laughs> rank the generations from best to worst. I'm gonna be honest, that would take a while. Uh, uh, I don't yeah. think I could like just make that up in the next hour. We'd like have a meeting about it. So I think you're just around. Yeah, you're here. So if you just go around to where that guy is on the other side of that little lake, um, that's where the exit is. Through Route 34. Cool. Also, I can't do anything to Rata. Um... Rock and Roll has been level 13 since the Violet Gym. I have not used her at all. That's what, that's <laughs> what Rock and Roll is good for. Yeah. It's killing, our Geodude. Yeah, killing fly, flying, uh, killing flying Pokemon. <laughs> that's what it's good for. Someone's got to do it. Now when Tokabee hatches, mm -hmm. should we keep Tokatik? I don't know. I've never had a togepi even in my party. Really? Yeah, except for Patch and Yag, but I never keep them. I know in my first playthrough in Silver, I did keep Tokatik. I think I had Tokatik, Ampharos, um, Umbreon, Typhlosion, Gyarados. I don't remember what the sixth one was. Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> what was it? Someone tell me. <laughs> So why can't Yeltsag do anything to, to a Rattata? Um, so Rattata is normal type, and it's like only has a ghost type mo move. Gotcha, and it doesn't affect them. I want him to learn something that is useful. Uh, Ready-made for us, what's the strongest Pokemon you have? It's like, hard to answer that question. Yeah, They're I all know. similar level. Um, I mean, you could look at like attack and special attack type, but they're all pretty close to each other right now. Yeah, we could look at that real quick if you guys want to. They're all uh, pretty similar. Wow, 19 experience points. That was nothing. Nailed it. Right, let's see. All right. 16 and 36. Oh, special attack is super amazing. High. I mean, that's to be expected, so. Yeah. Um, pretty good speed, too. And that is 27 and 16. So still technically yield sag, but it's special specifically. Yeah, and um, Geodude has better defense. Yeah. Let's see. Eh. Yeah, it's like pretty average. It's fast though. Oh wow, Cassie is like way faster. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. All right. Uh, 20 and 23. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's very balanced. Yeah. 27, 28. That's yeah. good too. Yeah. It's like good. both high attack, but just very, very. Oh, good. it's a. <gasps> it's the egg. It's yeah. gonna hatch soon. I hope so. And um, the other thing in this generation so the specific attacks aren't separated between physical and special attacks. It's all has to do with the type. So all grass type moves use the special attack right. yeah. stat. Yeah. Which is um, kind of unfortunate for a lot of Pokemon, like Arcanine, because its attack stat is way better than its special attack stat, but it uses but it fire type moves. Yeah. So it's like yeah. kind of useless in the first yeah. three generations. No, yeah. wait, they changed that in the third generation. So. That's crazy. Oh, Vulpix. Uh, I sweet asked what guide are you guys using? What is this? This is the original Nintendo Power. The original Nintendo Player's Guide from Silver Version and Gold Version from Nintendo Power. Pretty awesome. So it doesn't look that old. Have you had this for this long? Yeah. That's amazing. I, I actually, um, I try to collect 
Pokemon and Zelda guides, so I would always just buy them every time, even though, right. like, for Zelda, I don't use the guides. You just like having them? Yeah. Yeah. It's people cause... asking us about Miltank again, about what our strategy is for taking down Miltank. Alright, so we're gonna teach... No, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, we were gonna use Dig, weren't we? Yeah. I think Dig. Because I was thinking, oh, well, Ghastly... Well won't take damage from normal type moves, and Whitney is the normal type trainer, but uh, rollout is rock type moves, so that yeah. does not work <laughs> yeah. for that. Um. Hmm. Alright, that's how you get out. Yeah, we're out of Union Cave. Yes. And now we're on Route 33, which, which means, means we can catch a new Pokemon. Let's see. Nice. I like how it reads like PSN Cuaberry, <laughs> like they're gonna fix the PlayStation Network. I thought he looked at me and I was like, oh, he didn't try to attack me. He doesn't me care about something. me? Yeah. <laughs> Give me attention. Hiker Anthony. <laughs> There's a guy asking us to make the screen bigger. Uh, we do not have the ability to do that. Sorry. Um, and yeah, if you see them full screen, it's probably because they're emulating it. We are playing directly off of the console, so mm -hmm. it is not possible for us to do that. Uh, Dan Walsh asked what star do we got? We got a Cyndaquil. <gasps> what happened? Oh, well, you, can't, you can't catch it anyway. Oh though, gosh! Right? Um, that seems fair. I don't know what to do! <laughs> That's a safe play, <laughs> I think. Now it's like, uh, I can do it! Do you have a rock throw? Yeah, I do. This is gonna take It's gonna forever. take a while. That's fine. You'll, you're guaranteed to win. Man. Yep. All right. Well, we're here for the next half hour. <laughs> Is there anything else you can use against a rock type? Not Soul. Really? Yeah, no. Like, and Ghastly will do just as much damage as this rock throw is doing, I yeah. think. Maybe not, because Geodude's special defense is not that high. Mm. But... Gasly's defense is also not that high. Yeah, it's a risk. So it's easier to do it this way. Yeah, this is a sure thing. Yeah. If it was not a hard mode challenge, I'd just say screw it and use Gasly and see yeah. what happens. But all right, that did not take that that long. Yeah, it was all right. Did he get a critical? Is that what happened? Yeah, he got a critical. It's the worst. Can yeah. you just not do that? Oh, it's very stressful. Yeah, which is Can why you, just not... you need to have your Pokemon like full health all the time, just in case it's that critical. Uh, you have another Pokemon. Watch out. Um, oh no, I, sh I need to change. Uh, I'm weak to fighting type moves. Um, Alright, there we go. Plumero. Super effective against fighting types. Oh, wow. Is that the first fighting type we've seen? Mm hmm. <gasps> that still did a lot of damage. I really hope you're faster than this guy. You, you didn't die. If I get. If this is a critical hit, Plumera is dead. Oh, that's scary, right? <sighs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh my gosh, Machop, why? I f this is so stressful. I feel so stressed all the time. I need a Pokemon Center. Um, I guess I'll try to catch something in this little tiny patch of grass here. Hold on, what's up here? Nothing. This is it. This is the entire route. <sighs> God, chat on Twitch. I just tried to. Someone asked how I got oh, the job hey! at IGN. Oh, hey! Uh... It's a Hopip! Oh, that's cool. A new grass type. Um, yeah, Giovanni X Rogus on Twitch asked how we. How does one get this job? We spoke about that for a super long time last time. Yeah, you can actually go and watch that video. Go and watch that video. I also have a full video up on my personal YouTube channel that's like literally every step of what I did to get a job here over the five years it took. So um, try not to, to talk about that again. Oh, I woke up. What is Splash? Really? I didn't. Hmm. Um, 
I don't know if I want to lick it, because if I get a critical hit, it's dead. Uh, I'm just going to put it to sleep and throw a Pokeball at it and see how it goes. Hope for the best. Yeah, there's nothing else you can really use against it, though, right? Like, what? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Can you not put it to sleep? <laughs> Surely you can. It keeps failing. There we go. There we go. And the first time I put it to sleep, it woke up after one turn. You know, I might have had a jump bluff on my team. That might have been that sixth slot. The evolution oh, yeah. of uh, Hop Up. Or that could have just been the jump bluff on my Pokemon Coliseum game, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, I, I hope this works. Yeah, I mean, it's not... Wow, Great Ball is just blue. <laughs> uh, Jay Riley asked, just got back, what happened to Frank 2? Frank uh, 2 is in the box. Frank 2 is also in the box. <laughs> Frank and Frank 2 are just, <laughs> just chilling in the box right now. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> the same fate as Frank 1. Uh, amazing. Awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Got Hop It. What do we name it? What do we name it? It's up to Twitch this time. The uh, Pokemon. Its body is so light, it must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep from being blown away. It's okay, adorable. I guess you're already in there, Mitchell. The, the first two are uh, not safe for work. Well, okay, we have the option between Hop On It or Max Scoville. <laughs> You want to name it the Max? other ones are nips, so <laughs> I'm probably know. not gonna do that. Uh, I I don't mind hop on it because it's like hop it, but hop on it. But otherwise, we name it Max Scoville. So those are the first options. Can we, we have. Flick, can we? Can we? Oh, there's a lot of people saying. Well, Max someone said Trump. Uh, Melody Turnip. Min Scoville <laughs> instead of Max Scoville. Uh, it's up to you. These are these are oh, the, the first few right here. Um, hop if you want to go with nips, you <laughs> can. I just we might get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Let's see if hop on it. Uh, a lot of people on YouTube are seconding Max, though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of comments saying Max. All right, it's Max. Should I put a space in there? Is that gonna fit? Since the name is kind of long. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit. It's fit as much as you can, Insane. I guess. It might be Scoby. <laughs> Go. It'll be Scoville, I think. V I L. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's the same intended effect. Max Scoville. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. For anyone who doesn't know, Max Scoville is a is a host at IGN. He will be uh, live streaming the talk show that we have every week at noon. I hope. Call up at noon. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I? Nah, you would jerk. Yeah, you're a, you're definitely Team Rocket. Yeah, you definitely Cutting off slowpoke tails in there. I yeah. know what you're doing. Undoubtedly Team Rocket. Hey, 400 years ago, slowpoke ended a drought with its yawn. That's what I just learned from the sign. That Thanks, sign. That makes sense. It brought rain with its yawn. How? Magic. All right. It's Pokemon. All right, bum, 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 everyone bum, is healed. Bum. So now the question is, do we keep using Squidly or do we switch over to Jump Bluff? What do we do, guys? Max or Squidly? Max or Squidly. Jay Riley said confirmed IGN hates Frank. <laughs> <laughs> we did have a guy named Frank who worked here for a while. Uh, he now works on the Star Wars show at Lucas. Shark. Oh, hey, this is the charcoal maker. Max or Frank, friends. Uh, well, we have one vote for Max and one vote for Squidly. Sorry, I said Frank accidentally. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Two votes for Squidly so far. Another Max vote. I f another Max vote. Max or Squidly, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe I should go look at Max. Like, what it would even, what's all what's about up with Max? Him? What's up with Max? Let's see. We've got a minus vote for Max because it's screw Max. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, Mo DJ said Squidly. Mo DJ's been here since the last stream, I believe. It was here last week, so it can heal itself, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Um, 
You know what? You, this doesn't tell us anything because it has no EVs and it's half the level of Squidly, so this tells us nothing. <laughs> okay, what if I go hop up stats? Oh yeah, let's, what let's level check those of Squidly? Out. Uh, thirteen. But and just look at their base stats. Like that should be good enough, and then we'll pick on that. Unless there is an overwhelming majority for one of these two, in which case we'll go with that. Right base now I'm stats. Ah, it doesn't give me Silva. Oh, that's the problem. Up up stats, Pokemon Silva. Oh, they're Quillfish on Route 32 right now. But I already caught a Pokemon there, so I Team don't care. Team Magikarp. Quillfish are very rare. Thanks, All of Ralph. the sites that I'm trying to use just have the base stats for games that I don't want. <laughs> oh, uh, they should be the same-ish. Okay, well, it says... Okay, I'll just pull up. Um, I'm just going to type in Squidly uh, Bellsprout. <laughs> Squidly is not a real Pokemon. On Bulbapedia. Old Kurt is going to give Team Rocket a lesson in pain because Team Rocket is cutting off slow poke tails to sell in the black market. Remember that guy who tried to sell a slow poke tail for a million zunny or whatever that was? That is unacceptable. Absolutely. Okay, so Bellsprout is higher in HP, attack, uh, special attack by a lot. And then Hopip is higher in defense, special defense, and speed. Okay. So, like, normally I would go with whichever one is higher in attack. Yeah. But because of the nature of this challenge, it might be handy having higher defense Pokemon. Mm. Not necessarily. What did the chat say? What is the chat saying? Okay, I can go into Slowpoke Ball now. Oh, Tara's asked how many deaths have there been? None. None. Uh, Marty Sleeva asked, is this Digimon? Yes. This is Digimon. <laughs> how many badges she got? We have one badge, I think. Yes. From Violet City, and this is the second town. So, uh, cave Pokemon, or should I fish? I'm like, I'm like very like, I don't know, ah, this is hard. Um, if you go for cave Pokemon, it's probably just going to be a Zubat. Yeah, I'll probably won't run into anything we haven't already run into. Yeah, so that means you don't have to catch it, right? Yeah. So let's just check out the cave. <laughs> did we go with Squidly? What did we end up doing? Did we go Squidly or Max? Um, I have Squidly in my party still. Okay. Hop-up moveset is awful. It'll die soon enough. Okay. I'll stick with Squidly. Yeah, I think sticking with Squidly is probably a good idea. People are suggesting we go with the cave rather than fishing. Let's do that. Maybe we'll find a slow poke. Yeah, that'd be cool. So is the rule that if it's a Pokemon you've seen before, you don't have to catch it, but you still get to catch something else? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you catch the first Pokemon you haven't already caught. Yeah. Season. Okay. Have we caught a Rattata? Yes. Okay. Uh, its name is Splinter. Okay. And it's in the box. All those poor girls want in the box. I like to think they're actually at Professor Elm's like laboratory, like hanging out outside. Like yeah. Professor Oak and then the anime. Not a creepy box. Yeah. Not an actual box. <laughs> that would be awful. Good job, Rock and Roller. Yeah, I feel very good about the fact that we got Rock and Roller. Mm -hmm. I was so excited yeah. when that happened. <laughs> that made that gym battle in Violet City so much easier. Way easier. Didn't you single-handedly do it with Rock and Roller? Yeah, I just rocked through everything and they all died. It was amazing. I wasn't even scared. <laughs> Unlike that battle with that plain old trainer with the matchup. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. That was not great. Huh. Surprisingly significant quick attack there. Yeah, I was like, oh, it did way more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> Suck it, Rattata. Good morning, Fuzzius, who just woke up from your sick day. I'm feeling all right, my dude. Uh, Dan Walsh asked, did we get a Zubat yet? You gotta get a Zubat. Yes, I and its name is Furry Ears. That's right, Furry Ears. Uh, I, he's also in the box. 
What's in the box? <laughs> Oh, this is a. Uh, this looks like Cassidy. It kind of does. From, That's cool. Um, from the anime. Huh. Hey, I just realized we were also on Mixo, so I'm now uh, in the Mixo chat also. <laughs> Thank you to Swayze who said he's watching because it's interesting to see how different people play the game. Thank you, my dude. Yeah, they're mad that we didn't acknowledge it was on Mixa. Uh, I didn't actually know that until someone mentioned it on Twitch. So. Sorry. Literally was not told. Hello, Neo X Donut. What's up? Neo X Donut. No, I really want donuts. I always want sweets. That really is not surprising at all. Donuts are pretty great. Yeah, uh, oh, Morel said, man, that Miltank is going to obliterate you guys. Try and teach a fighting move to somebody ASAP. I know, but... We'll figure something out, we think. <laughs> I mean... In oh. time. Well, we won't go there until we're ready, because everyone will die. So we won't rush it, but... Yeah, I think... Um, isn't the only way to get him a chop in this game is to trade something someone for it in goldenrod city are we allowed to do that yeah i mean we're not playing with those extra rules but you also get an eevee in goldenrod city so wouldn't that mean we'd have to choose between between them i don't know i'm not sure how those specific oh hey souls evolving oh that's exciting our first evolution yay yay and so now that it evolved, it gets a stat boost, but it learns its more powerful move slower. That's awesome. But I'm going with the stat boost because better defense means it's less likely to die. I guess killing things faster also means it's less likely to die, but... Quilava. Soul of Quilava. I'm just gonna run. Oh. I'm tired of fighting these too bad. <laughs> um, where do I get it from? I got a super potion. There's a drowsy machop trade. Okay. And in Goldenrod City, yeah, this is the first oh, wow, guide slow poke. Ooh, yay! All you right, gotcha, right? Yeah, let's do it. Um. I don't know what attack to use on it. Maybe just tackle from uh, Camaro? We will let Mixa pick, pick the name of this one. Yeah. If, assuming that we catch it. Yeah, assuming we that we it. catch it. Hopefully Lick doesn't destroy uh, it. Neo X Dona also said you can get Machop in Rock Tunnel later in the game. Okay. Uh, or trade for Drowsy in Goldenrod, so we'd have to have a Drowsy. <sighs> okay, I'm not going to attack it again. Oh, hey, it's paralyzed. Perfect. Let's see. Nailed it. Okay, I have four chances <laughs> to catch the slope. <laughs> Did any of you guys like press certain buttons when the when you throw the Pokeball? I absolutely do that. Yeah. Wh which one do like, you do? Uh, I think I mashed A. Just to be like, come on. So I hold, I hold A and down as soon That's as like funny. the smoke comes out. Yeah. It's like rumors that you heard as a kid that aren't necessarily true at all. Oh, I I don't know if I'm gonna catch a slow poke. I should have popped more Pokeballs. How many I do mean, you have? I mean, a terrible mistake. I have two more. Is, is there anything you can use to give it like a, a tiny little bit of an attack? I don't know. I feel like oh. I might kill it. Wow. Because they're all level 14. Duh. And I mean, it's already paralyzed, so... I guess you just keep trying with the Pokeballs? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw one more and then try and hit it with something that might not kill it? I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> we caught it. Okay, All right. cool. Mixa gets to name it. Um. The dopey Pokemon. A sweet sap leaks from its <laughs> tail's tip. Although not nutritious, the tail is pleasant to chew on. 
Uh, well, Neo X Donut asked us to call it Neo or Donut, which is based on their own username. <laughs> uh, Ridiculous wanted us to name it Mixer is better. <laughs> and then uh, Cardinal Ohio said name it Nyquil. So you can do Neo, Donut, Mixer is better, or Nyquil. I like Donut. All right. Donut the Slowpoke. I donut, think that's, that's pretty so, great. Yeah, yeah. It's just so yeah, I feel good about that. Thinning. Donut wins. All right. I think we're gonna have to pull Donut out. Yeah. Um, look at these poor Slowpoke. Probably getting their tails cut off. This poor Slowpoke. I think Slowpoke could learn Strength too, so it should be pretty useful. What route are we on right now? We are in Slowpoke Well. Which is, so we're right before right four, next right? to Azalea. Do we, uh, and Slowpoke it's in well, between Union and... then we get out in Alex Forest. That's next, after we fight the Gym Leader. So Route 34 has a bunch of Drowsies. If we want to catch a Drowsy to trade for the Machop. So that's pretty close. If you want to try and catch a drowsy, obviously it'll be depending on yeah, what the first thing random. there is, but we can give it a shot. Um, and then we could, yeah, potentially trade that for the shot. Otherwise, we're going to have some trouble. Yes, so <laughs> um, I was just told that people are asking about the John Locke thumbnail. So the original Nuzlocke run was basically Ruby Hard Mode. And um, it was someone online who made a comic, and in their run, they ended up getting a C-Dot that evolved into a Nuzleaf named Locke. And it always said the same things that Locke from Lost would say, like, huh. everything happens for a reason. Huh. And whenever someone would die. <laughs> and he drew it with Locke's face. Wow, I didn't know that. So Nuz Locke instead of Nuzleaf. Huh. And that's where that term comes from. So oh, wow. that's why we have a picture of a Nuzleaf with Locke's face. Wow, that's really <laughs> cool. I had no idea. And um, spoiler alert for that comic for Ruby Hard Mode, um, everyone dies and he loses the game and doesn't finish it. And then Nuz Nuzlocke was, everything, I was wrong. Everything doesn't happen for a reason. Aww. And then there's like a, a post-comic um, that has the main character like talking to someone else saying we have to go back we were never meant to leave the pokemon league <laughs> like as if it was the island that's pretty like, great yeah it's cute zero striker saying nuzleaf is gen 3. yeah that mm -hmm. was a uh yeah, ruby. ruby that we're referring to jay riley said probably way too early to ask would you do this challenge on the unnamed pokemon switch game yeah for sure That'd be I can't terrifying. guarantee it, but I'd love to. It would also be hard because you wouldn't know anything. Yeah, you'd have no idea. Like what's I've going replayed on. this game so many times, I feel pretty comfortable. Well, I think there's a <laughs> learning curve at the start of basically every Pokemon game where you're like, okay, what type is this? What moves does it have? Like, yeah. What can I use against it? Oh, oh no! This is so Why would game? you do that? Oh, all right. Is it its own tail? Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. That's so evil. Aww. I'm so sad now. These are jerks. I'm gonna destroy them. Good. What do you want? I'm gonna destroy these these guys. He's like, if you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Like, why and he's like just... sawing off a you're... Slowpoke tail. Right. Like, oh you're my also gosh! Shot at the fight, dude. Come on. Why did I use Tackle? I'm just like spamming A. It's like, I have to destroy this guy right now. Uh, Fuzzy is asked, are you guys going to play this Nuzlocke until the very end? Um, well, I mean, I'm sure Casey will finish the game. Yeah. Nuzlocke. Um, Possibly. It depends if there's a demand for us to keep going. Yeah, on, on the stream, it, it depends on uh, mm -hmm. you guys, really. Because the, the logic from higher-ups is like, yeah, I would stream Pokemon all day, every day as my day job if I could. But it's like, if we could better use our time doing something else. Yeah. Do that. That's what a job is. Yep. I'm on the Wikis team and have a lot of Wiki stuff to do. Right now I'm working on 
Divinity with a very amazing freelancer. So doing excited a lot of work to play that. Yeah. Tommy Gunn asked, are you going to do a walkthrough that's not a Nuzlocke challenge? If you mean a Let's Play or a stream, probably not. Oh. Maybe when um, the new games come out. But yeah, maybe. Otherwise, no. I think that nice. would still be more interesting to do a Nuzlocke run, though, because then we Totally. Yeah. But it's way more interactive. Still want to know what Mom's doing with your money. Well, he, she bought me a super potion. That's true. Yeah. That's what's happened so yeah. far. <laughs> That's a good point. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Who's this man? I think this is Kurt. I like how he just like goes around the corner, runs into a slowpoke, <laughs> goes around, runs into the other slowpoke. He just He's man just, just cannot walk directly. Poke. Oh hey, we teleported. Cool. It's a good way to get out of a cave. He's gonna make balls for us. Oh hey, lower ball. I need to go buy more poke balls. That reminds me. Oh, uh, Morel said, I'm eating Fruit Loops. Hope you guys are jealous. Fun fact, very easy way to get me to read your comment on a stream is to mention food. <laughs> if someone brings up food in, in the chat, I'm like, we talking about food? All right, I'm in it. We spoke about pie for a very large chunk of a live stream the other day. Oh, and there yeah. was just one guy in the chat that was very angry. He was like, stop talking about pie. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> okay, so there's a gym here. So I'm going to go heal up and then check out the gym. And we should be able to run through it quite fast, because yeah. I believe this is Bugsy of the Bug-type yeah. gym. We should be okay. So with Fumero and Soul, we should be pretty good. Um, Dag14 asks, how many viewers would you need to keep going? I don't actually know if there's like a stipulation, but I don't even know how many we have right now. I think there's not very many on YouTube. There's a few on Mixer. Shout out to Mixer. <laughs> not sure about... Uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Mitchell, I just saw your comment on, on Twitch. It's funny. Um, and the date and time of the next episode will be, I believe it's, we're streaming again next Thursday at 1? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And we're going to do time. for two hours next yeah. time. After Up at Noon, which is the uh, talk show that we have. All right. Let's do this gym. Okay. I don't need to talk to you. I know what's, what Pokemon are strong against bug types. I feel like I have to pay more attention now. This stuff's not wrapping. That's cute. Just realized that the names are Amy and May, which is just the same letters shuffled in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty clever. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy in our office, Dan, whose brother also works here. His name is Jordan. Jordan, yeah. but it's just like Dan and then Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> His parents just really like the letters D A in it. Good job, Lamero. You did it. You <laughs> swept him away with your feathers, like a good duster you are. <laughs> Jay Riley said, "I like my pie with the side of Frank." <laughs> I'm glad you agree with us finally, Jay Riley, that uh, Frank is trash and is potentially only good for motoring and then eating. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Frank and Frank, too. Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. I'm going to destroy this little boy's dreams. You guys remember in the anime when um, Ash tried to use Caterpie against the Pidgeotto? Yeah. It got destroyed. It just got pecked and it was really yeah. brutal. It was like, like oh, one of the no. first episodes, right? Yeah. Uh, so this, the question that Mitchell just asked the Twitch chat, which I laughed at, is cheesecake. Is it pie? It's pie. That is not cake. It is a crust with a filling. I don't know, dude. It is absolutely I really don't know. not real cake. I don't know, man. I'm serious about my cake and pie differences, because if someone gives me pie when I ask for cake, I get upset. <laughs> yeah. I'm very, I, I don't know, it's called cheesecake. It's wrong. <sighs> it's cheese pie. You and Mark should have a conversation. About this. <laughs> I mean, Tom. <laughs> I call him Mark because it's Tom Marks. Um. Well, he makes pie. He made that really delicious blueberry pie for the office one day, and it was great. 
Yeah, he. Like, that's why. And apparently, he's not baking at the moment because it's too hot. He was telling me this thing oh. about how um, butter, when you're making pie, if it melts too fast, you like your crust won't have the right mm -hmm. textures. I yeah. do not know any of that. I don't cook. But if you do have melted butter in your chocolate chip cookie recipe, real good. You should good brown stuff. the butter and then let it cool, and then add it to the batter, and then refrigerate the dough for 24 hours, and you get the best chocolate chip cookies. Man, I should really start baking more often. <laughs> uh, ridiculous on Mixer said only two hours for the stream next week. That's not nearly enough, uh, long enough for a proper Pokemoning session. I would stream literally all day. I think I said that before. Um, just. There are various yeah. other things that we have to do, so yeah. that's basically as long as we can go for. So I'm just, um, I'm grinding in between the streams, mm -hmm. so that it's not too much literally me just sitting in grass like we did the first yeah. um, the first one. So you guys don't have to watch us grinding too much. By the way, Jim's easy way to grind. <laughs> People are pretty opinionated on this, uh, this... Cheese is not a cake. Pie or cake. I agree with you. Discussion. <laughs> There's also um, Terminator Jesse asks, where is my Up at Noon? The stream is going directly into Up at Noon, I believe. Up at Noon, it's not? not? No. It's not happening oh. today? Okay, so oh. the official update, we weren't sure before this happened, is that uh, Up at Noon is not happening today. Um, the reason is that Brian is currently out of office. Uh, I don't want to give too much detail, but basically he's dealing with family stuff. So um, giving him some time off to do that, and we'll probably, if he's not in next week, depending on how everything goes for him, then... Uh, we will probably have other people host with Max, but mm -hmm. for anyone who's a big fan um, of Brian or Up at Noon, just send him your well wishes on Twitter. He's having a bit of a tough time. There's people in the Mixer chat, you know, after saying how great you are, Mixer, you're talking about which Pokemon you would eat right now? You're talking about, like, would they eat a Farfetch'd? Would they eat a Psyduck? Well, Farfetch'd is, like, built to be eaten. I is, this mean, the, is this the kind of people you are over here on Mixer? <laughs> is that what's happening right now? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Max tweeted at us? <laughs> Apparently Max is mad that uh, he was made into a hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault. <laughs> the stream demanded the people it. People asked, <laughs> yeah. Max, I don't know what you want. I'm just <laughs> fighting all of the lackeys. Oh, you're right. He did just tweet saying this, uh, no up at noon this week. With a gif of Pikachu looking some ketchup. That's fitting. Are there actual animals in the Pokemon universe? So, I... They've recently done a very good job at not mentioning any other animals, but in the first season they slipped up a little bit, like Misty mentions like oh it's just like a lion tamer to that guy with the sand true interesting i don't know if you guys remember that but um there's that and they they mentioned some things like that but in i just wonder what they eat what's that food made of well we know they drink milk tank milk gross so there's definitely meat in the world too uh where does it come from <laughs> The only animal I've seen is just generic there has been fish. I've seen just generic fish in the water in the anime. Yeah, that sounds about right. But, um, yeah. All right. Big bad boss battle. Shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> um, Mitchell, <laughs> I don't know how to, how to say this without drawing attention to it. Is, can, can you put a user in timeout on YouTube? It's uh, Robert Zabawa. Time out. Just have a zero tolerance policy for people saying sexual stuff about ladies when we stream. It's oh, not man. cool, man. It's not cool. All we're doing is just hanging out and playing Pokemon. Ooh, phenomenal scary. Fob 6 on Mixer is going to bed. That's weird oh. because it's 11.40 a.m. here, but well, also... Well, yeah, where, where are they? <laughs> what? There's another person oh, who good. said sending love from Richmond, California, and I was like, wait, is that the same person? <laughs> Why are you going to bed? What does that even mean? Maybe they had a really long night. Awesome. 
fresh out underscore five said, I think I saw real cows in the anime once, but not sure since it was ages ago. Hmm. I don't know about that. How's everything going, by the way? I've been reading the chat this whole time because I had faith in you. Everything seems to be going great. Has anything bad happened? Not right now? No. Yeah, like in, in the entire gym. Uh, no. I switched out Scyther. Um, I, when Scyther came out, I switched out to Soul mm -hmm. because Soul is like better defense than Pidgey. Nice. Um, and it did a little bit of damage to me with Fury Cutter, but I'm feeling pretty good. And now it's using Kakuna, so I um, I have no fear. Yeah. This is why we're not using Frank. What would Frank have done? Nothing. Nothing. He would have been destroyed like these other Bug-type Pokemon. Just like Frank 2, maybe. Possibly. Frank 2 probably would have been fine, but... Watch it. You know what? I don't like all of you and your Frank bias. <laughs> well, you have four Franks. It just makes sense. Oh, apparently Phenomenal Fob, who's the person who went uh, to sleep at 11.40, uh, has an overnight job. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Katie Glue said, can I have a shout-out for your birthday? Whenever people say this kind of stuff, I assume that they're lying for a shout-out, but I'll give you a shout-out anyway. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday! Potentially, question mark. Happy birthday to everyone whose birthday it is Whose birthday it happens to be. All right, we got our second badge. All right, yeah. Hi, badge. So now Pokemon level 30 will obey us. Very far off of that. And we can use Cut outside of battle. Cut is handy. I think this is going to be Fury Cutter. What is it? Yes. Yeah. Fury Cutter. Cool. Yeah. That we was did it. Very easy. We got our second badge. What's uh? What's up next? Well, next is Route Thirty. No, Hex Forest. Did we yeah. Come that? Is it Ilix? Ilix Forest. You oh yeah, I just said Hex. You're right, it's Ilex, I think. It's very unclear because it's it looks like L-L-E-X, but it's surely it's capital I. So I think it's Ilex Forest, and then Route 34 where I want to catch a Drowsy if we can try and mm -hmm. do that. Let me get that much out. My chop. I think in Ilex Forest we also get Headbutt, which means we might be able to get a Heracross at some point in the game eventually, okay. maybe? Um, I think uh, gonna... Mo DJ, who is on both Twitch and YouTube, question mark, uh, said Rival Battle Incoming. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah. So, um, should we bring out Donut? Sure. Well, who do we want to get rid of? Oh. Yeah. Um, maybe the egg. Poor egg's not, not even gonna get to hatch. Yeah. It's fine. We'll we'll get it hatched, and then I'll I'll um bring Frank up, and then Frank's gonna be really underleveled. Frank or or Donut? Frank. I mean Donut. We don't want Frank. No, we want Tony. Wrong name. <laughs> People in the chat keep saying Frank. We're getting confused. Uh, where is the Pokemon? So, um, yeah, I think I'll grind Donut in between streams this time, and he'll be in our party next time. Where is the Mart? Where is the Pokemon? Here it is. Tommy Gunn asked, what other games do you plan to do a walkthrough of? Again, I think that he means live stream. Uh, Mitchell was streaming Cuphead tomorrow, correct? I don't know, because we streamed yesterday. Right. So, not sure. They have changed the streaming restrictions for Cuphead, so we could stream more. Um, but we did stream it yesterday, the VOD is already up. Um, meaning the stream, I don't know what. What does that stand for? People who don't work in the biz call that uh, VOD, Video On Demand. Ah. Yeah. Um, so that stream is archived or you can find it on, on all of the places. It was super fun actually, but just very annoying. Just, just a very annoying game to stream. I was getting so frustrated at people being like, you guys suck. I'm like was playing with Lily, who's very good at it. Like, she's so mm -hmm. good. You guys just don't realize how hot it is. She's very yeah. good at it. She's really good at Splatoon 2. She's good at games. She used to compete in the... I, I also played uh, games semi-professionally. Oh, yeah. Uh, I named my rival Gary, too. <laughs> so, Frank oh, is yeah. very funny. Very good. <laughs> because um, his name is actually... Um, it's, his name canonly is, is Silver. Silva. But I named myself Silver, <laughs> so... Yeah. His name's Gary, too, now. Uh, Hibernation asked, who is the producer? And he's cute. The producer is Mitchell, who you guys have seen in this chat uh, as Jurassic Rabbit. So he said a couple of things in the chat um, on Twitch here. And is he cute? He's pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Lewis asked, who's our favorite Pokemon? We did answer this last stream. This could be a thing that maybe we'll just have to answer every single stream. That's totally fine. Uh, Gyarados is my favorite Pokemon in the games in the anime 
it's Charmander. In general, it's Charizard. If I could own one, it would be Arcana. So, if I could own a Pokemon, I mean, stop putting all my Pokemon to sleep, Ghastly. Like, that's a little bit hypocritical, I think, Casey. Is that right? <laughs> like, he's got to lick me. I know what happens next after this. <laughs> Um, We've been there before. I like the idea that all Ghastlies are just sexual offenders. <laughs> Stole oh <no>. them. <laughs> um, if I could own a Pokemon, it'd be Charizard, but it'd have mm -hmm. to be big enough so that I could fly on it. Because I think Charizard... Where would you keep it? In my backyard? I don't know. You just have a dragon in your backyard? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Alright. <laughs> And if I mean, if I can get a Charizard, I shouldn't be able to have a Pokeball, right? Because this is a hypothetical. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I say Alcanine because I really like dogs, and I just want a giant, giant, warm dog that I can. Yeah. Call. And they, you can. They actually ride Pokemon. You can ride mm -hmm. Arcanine too. Mm -hmm. And they're intelligent. It's just like a much better version of yeah. a dog. See. Well, dogs are pretty great. But I know, but Arcanine. Be a cool dog, dog. See, Charizard. I'd like to be able to fly everywhere, which is why I want a bigger Charizard. Yeah. So Charizard. It's supposed to be only 5'4", which is as tall as me, so I don't think I'd be able it's to fly short. on it. Yeah, it's incredibly short. Yeah. And uh, that's when I you learn. I assume that's not including, like, tailspan, though. No, it would be hard to fly on that. Yep. Hmm. I don't think I was ready for this uh, rival battle. I'm kind of scared. Cool. I put it to sleep. Oh, it's a pretty high Thumbs level. Thumbs up. You know what you're going to do now? Um... You're gonna like it. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Is that this a, wow. was a critical that hit. That was a critical hit. And it did nothing. So I'm gonna take this opportunity while it's sleeping to awaken some of my other Pokemon that might be able to do a little bit more. Um, what? Well, I could use Squidly. I think I'll just switch to Squidly, but I still, I do wanna awaken my Plumero. How strong uh, is woke this thing? Up. It's quite strong. I don't like this. Oh, I don't I'm like this either. I'm worried that someone's going to die I might here. be screwed. Let's find out. The, the plot thickens. I should have... Why? Why didn't I grind? I, like, should have known. But this is, like, a huge jump from the gym leader. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I should be fine. Let's, let's do it. Is this it. a trainer? Yeah, this is uh, my rival. Gary, oh, too. Yeah. He's hardcore. Level 16 Pokemon? Okay, I like, think you're alright. You're alright. Um, rage! Oh no. This is scary. I think I'm gonna use a potion here in a second. I think he'll be okay. It gets stronger every, every attack. I don't know. Scratch. Okay, cool. Ah, not cool! <gasps> not cool! Oh, not at all. Okay, well I'm pretty sure this was his strongest Pokemon and we, we just... We got rid of it. It's uh -huh. done. One more Pokemon. Zubat. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. we're definitely going to change. Um, everyone... <sighs> Who's I, asleep? I wanted to use <laughs> Rock and Rolla. Yeah. Because um, Rock and Rolla would have been super effective with the rock throw. But um, Pidgey should be fine. Because it, it probably knows Leech Life and it doesn't do much to flying type Pokemon. So... Or and it's a freaking supersonic. Too <sighs> bad. Uh, there's a couple more people who I guess have just joined asking why is uh, Locke in the thumbnail. That's because of the name of the origin of uh, Nuzlocke. If you if you look that up, you'll be able to find more details on that on the wiki if you like. It's basically just the origin of the name of this kind of challenge. This is scary. He only has, he has such a small amount, but, like, if he gets a critical hit, I'm, I'm done, and I think I'm still confused, so... Okay. Mm. okay Alright, we did it. That we defeated intense. Gary 2. <laughs> Suck it, Gary 2. Oh, okay. My Pokemon were weak. They were strong. I just had more Pokemon than you did. <laughs> they were quite strong. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. 
Uh, Zed Sidon asked, have you ever beaten any of the games with Nuz Nuzlocke Challenge before? I have not, have you, Casey? I have not either. No. This might be our first one. I think that we will get there. It's some things I'm slightly nervous about, we should be alright. It's Ralph again, telling me about those cool fish, I guess. Oh, this Goldie very energetic. Nice. And he beat in Ekans. He really doesn't give you much of a chance to say anything, does he? Just yeah, like, why did he tell me that? I don't... Alright, Fisherman Ralph. I'm glad I have friends, I guess. That <laughs> call me to talk about things yeah. that don't matter. Yeah. A cool fisherman friend. Alright. Uh, I guess we go to Ilix Forest and catch a Pokemon. And uh, that would be, I think we have like, what, 10 minutes left? Yeah, 10 minutes. Okay. <sighs> this nice little baby. So everyone keeps mentioning um, this forest protector, and I'm pretty sure they're talking about Celebi. Hmm. All right, what Pokemon is it? You can catch it? something in here, right? Yes, I can. And it has to be. Does this count as a new Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no! Yeah, no, no. It, it definitely does. No! Okay. I guess I'll catch it. Yeah, you gotta catch that. <laughs> Not happy with this. We should have saved the name Frank 2. <laughs> we should have saved that. This can be Frank 3, and uh, we'll be all good. He have 98 on Mixer says hi. Hey buddy, what's Hello. up? Hello. Uh, Tem is said no up at noon. No, there is no up at noon happening today. Up at noon. We'll be back next week. <laughs> Fuzzy has said Red Dead Redemption 2 came out earlier today. It definitely did not, or we would be streaming that game, which is coming out next year. No, there was a new trailer this morning. Um, we live streamed the reveal of that, which is pretty cool. Uh, El Hinche del Dragon, I think I recognize your username said, uh, do you stream every day? I've been watching you around the same time the last past days. We don't stream every day. Um, we've been streaming more this week because of... Cuphead? Yeah. And stuff? We also streamed Echo on, um, Tuesday and then this mm -hmm. as well because we're trying to do it every week, so... <laughs> Definitely every Tuesday. Oh my gosh, yeah, this Kakuna will not get caught. Time. I'm gonna try and put it to sleep. It's my... How many Pokeballs do you have? I bought it quite a few. Okay. So, I should be Well, fine. I'm sorry you have to catch this trash Pokemon, but here we are. I don't have to. I mean, I could just kill it and just not catch Pokemon here, but that would be wasteful. That's also true. Like, what if I get totally wiped out by Whitney and then have no Pokemon? So I'm going to catch this Kakuna. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Yeah, All Whitney's right. the next gym leader. All right. Uh, I don't know whose turn it is to decide the name. I think it's YouTube. From this form, it will grow into an adult. As its body becomes softer, the external shell hardens. <laughs> the first suggestion that we have, which is... Okay, it's uh, either Didlo Man, which I assume is someone who accidentally spelt Dildo Man incorrectly, which I <laughs> think is very funny. Like, you just really ruined your own joke. And the other one is Frank 3. It's either Didlo Man or Frank. Which are both very good. And Riley, I can't believe it's you. Oh, Zero Striker also said Franco Coon. <gasps> I really like that. Yeah. Franco Coon. I'm going to do that. All right. <laughs> I love that. Didlo, man. Oh, buddy. So, should I spell it like Coon? It's O. Okay, so that's how I'm going to spell it how yeah. they did. Okay. And then C O O N. Okay. <laughs> Frank Cocoon the Cocoona! Oh, very good. Oh, this guy didn't... Oh, this is the assistant. Me and Green Luigi said, what's one Pokemon you're all looking forward to catching that isn't a legendary? We're not allowed to catch legendaries, uh, the way this works. Mm -hmm. 
Well, for me right now, it's the I want the drowsy so that we can trade it for a chop. Yeah. It's been kind of cool to catch the pop last year, but um, aside from that, it's magic up for sure. Slash Gyarados. <laughs> I'm just going to try and get this far-fetched into the loving arms of its trainer. Uh, I guess it's not its trainer. Maybe it is. No, it helps out of the charcoal hut. And um, by the way, so it, I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the Pokemart in um, Azalea Town, you can purchase a charcoal, which uh, boosts the power of fire moves. Hmm. But you don't have to do that because if you do this mini game where you get um, far-fetched, um, you can then get charcoal for free. So, I don't know if that was the correct... Oh, okay. I'll go back around. <laughs> what, I don't understand what you're doing. You're just chasing it around this, this... I'm trying to chase it into the trainer that we talked to on the way in. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I guess he again, belongs basically. to it. And that's the apprentice of the charcoal master. And then in gratitude, they will give us a charcoal. Mixer said we need some mods on Mixer, so I'm going to see if we can make that happen. There's a, a, a guy in the uh, Mixer chat who's trying to promote himself, and John on the Xbox said, uh, username uses self-promo. Like, a, it's a sick Pokemon-themed burn there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Pokemon in this forest. <laughs> well, it's a good way to grind. Gotta do it at some point. I'm just, I'm just running right now. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, every time I hear this that, that intro music, I get excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's Frank's brother. Let's murder him. Needle. Let's knock him out. We ran into a tree. All right, we did it. Success. Can people's Pokemon run away from them? I mean, they can't run away from you. Oh, hey, we got HMO one cut, which lets us continue through the forest. Success. Yeah, I think cut is really handy. Just super. Who are we gonna give it to though? You know, and they just said, oh, we couldn't do our job unless we have Farfetch'd to cut trees. It's like, have you ever heard of an axe before? <laughs> have you ever heard of doing your own labor? Those don't exist in the Pokemon universe. <laughs> All right, it is 11.59 a.m., so I think this yeah. is probably the part where we wrap up. Yeah. Um, thank you to everyone for joining us on Twitch, Mixer, and uh, YouTube. I think we're also on Facebook um, as well. Yeah. So it's been super fun playing, and we will be playing again uh, next week on Thursday at yeah. 1 p.m. So catch us then. Yeah, thanks so much. See you guys next time.